So today I'm here with 10 different simple back to school looks. Only one of these looks requires heat and the rest only pretty much need elastic bands and bobby pins. All these looks are very, very simple to do. They won't take much time, but the end result is definitely stunning. Also, I am using a combination of hair extensions and no hair extensions for these looks. All of these looks can be completed on medium to short hair and also for people with long hair. For anyone wondering, the extensions that I am wearing today are my Irresistible Me Royal Remy extensions. I have colored these to match my rainbow hair color. I also do have a discount code for them, which you can view down the bottom of this video if you guys want to get your hands on them a little bit cheaper. So before we get right into the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would honestly mean the world to me. I love reading your comments and you guys just are awesome. I love you. To start off this hairstyle, you want to tease the crown of your head and the surrounding areas. You can tease your fringe as well if you want that section to be teased. Now comb it smooth and then gather it up into a high ponytail. Make sure you're happy with the fullness before you secure the hair tie. If your hair is quite short like mine and you want to add a little extra length, you definitely can by adding a clip-in extension. Basically clip it around the outskirts of the ponytail, then grab a small section of the length wrap that around to hide any joins and that way you're going to have this gorgeous long hair if your hair is already long this technique is definitely still going to work for you and you're going to have this gorgeous awesome hairstyle for school This next style is a Dutch braid, basically an inside out braid. This look will be perfect for medium to long hair lengths. Even if you have shorter, shorter hair like I do, you can definitely do this look or you can even add some extensions for the illusion of extra length. If you are adding extensions, however, I only recommend adding them to the lower half of your head. So start off at the top of your head, divide the hair into three sections. So basically we're going to do a standard braid, but instead of the sections going from the outside and down through the center, the sections are going from the outside and up through the center. So do your first section, then go in with the outer portion, grab some section from the side of your head and go from the outside up through the center and basically continue the same method all the way through down your hair. If you would like the braid to be quite tight and quite neat, make sure you grab a comb and comb each section before you place it into the braid. But if you want more of a messier kind of textured braid, don't comb it, just grab the section and that will help increase the texture and the messiness of your look. Secure any places that you may need to with some bobby pins or pull out any sections to create more texture. This next hairstyle, you want to comb all of your hair in the direction that's going to be sitting. If your hair is wet, I suggest blow drying it all into the direction that it's going to be sitting. So all the front will be blow dried back and then the back section will be blow dried up. So basically secure your hair into a high smooth ponytail. Now for my secret, grab a old sock cut the end off the sock and then roll the sock back onto itself and voila you have your own bun this is a lot easier definitely a lot cheaper than some of the other hair buns and it works fantastic so all that's left to do now is basically section your hair in the center of that ponytail smooth and almost flatten the hair out so it covers more distance and smooth it underneath your sock grab a bobby pin and pin it into place continue that all the way through till all the bun is covered if you feel that your hair is not thick enough to cover it you can lightly tease the section and that will help you make the section a little bit wider to cover more distance For this next hairstyle, you want to start with a side part 
parting. So instead of doing a braid through the fringe, which can usually be quite difficult, we're just going to do a twist. So basically you start with one section, then you incorporate another section, twist the section twice, and then pick up a new piece of hair in every section. So you basically give it two twists, pick up a new section, give it two twists, pick up a new section. So you're continuously picking up the new section of hair on the same piece. So one section is going to be quite thin, the other section is going to be a little bit thicker and basically continue this down as far as you like. You can do it to frame your whole face if you like or you can just do it in your fringe section of hair. For your remaining sections of hair I'm going to show you guys how to get very simple beachy bohemian style waves. So basically you want to plait your hair. You can do the plaits as big or as little as you like. Just remember the smaller the plait the more waves your hair will have. Once you finish the plaits then go in with a straightening iron. Basically clamp the straightening iron on top of the plait for a few seconds and make sure that you cover the whole plait. So basically touch it, feel it if it's warm. If it's warm you know that the heat has seeped all the way through. Once you're done, simply take the plaits out and you have this beautiful beachy bohemian texture to your hair. So for this look, you want to start by parting your hair directly down the center. Section out one side of your hair and just place it in a hair tie or a clip so it is out of the way. So we're going to be incorporating a similar technique to the last tutorial with the twists. This is so much easier than braiding. As I said, if you struggle with braiding, this is definitely the way to go. So basically what you're going to do is start by taking two sections. When you first start off, give it two twists and then after that, incorporate a new section with every single twist. So incorporate a new section, give it one twist, incorporate a new section, give it one twist. This is gonna give you lots of beautiful texture. So continue twisting all the way down to the ends of your hair and then place a elastic band at the end of it. Remember that these are not braids, they're just twists. So they will unravel if you don't twist it tight enough. Continue the same on the other side of your hair. Yeah. Now one thing I did notice is you can actually twist this the opposite way and it will give it an opposite effect. So make sure that you are twisting it the same way as you twisted the last one, either away from your face or towards your face. So continue this all the way down this side of your hair. So you can definitely leave it just as it is. You could also take the sections and curl them up on top of themselves. It does really depend on how much hair you have. But for this, we're going to create a halo. So basically we're going to connect the pieces together. So place one plait onto the opposite side of your head and pin it in place. And then do exactly the same with the other one and make sure you tuck the end in to the existing twist. That way all the bands are covered and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So this is another hairstyle that I absolutely love. The messier the better with this hairstyle. I would say this is more suited to kind of medium length hair. Obviously long hair does work with this hairstyle but it may be a bit heavy. So basically take vertical sections, taking roughly an inch thickness, divide that section in half horizontally and then basically twist it around each other. Once you get to the top, very messily grab it and just scrunch it up and place the bobby pin in it and that's one section done. Continue this all throughout your hair and it's that simple. So for this next look, I'm breaking out the big guns. I have my Irresistible May extensions clipped in. So this is a very, very simple look. Basically what you want to do is encapsulate your whole side section of your head. You can leave some out around your face if you choose to. What you want to do is plait this in the direction that you want it to go. So because this is going to be connecting at the back of my head, I'm not going to plait it straight down. I'm going to plait it away from my face. That way it's going to sit a lot better. So basically do two plaits either side of your head 
and then can join them both in the middle with a clear elastic. You can definitely add some volume into the crown section which would look absolutely gorgeous. Have some curls in the ends of your hair if you choose to. This would also look beautiful on straight hair as well. So very simple but very beautiful look. This next hairstyle is a add-on from the previous style. So basically it is a fishtail braid. I'm going to share with you guys the simplest way to create a messy fishtail braid. I have done a full tutorial just on this braid. If you guys wanted to watch that, definitely check it out. What you want to do is start by sectioning your hair in half at the back. Now grab a piece that is at the front section of your hair. The smaller the piece, the better. Drag that over the top and then basically place it underneath the other section. So your shoulders are actually going to help and act like another pair of hands basically. So continue this all the way down. As you get towards the ends of your hair, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do this because obviously it's going to stretch further down your back. So you may have to bring it to the side to finish off the fishtail braid. Then to finish off the look where we had the two existing plaits and the hair tie you just want to slide the hair tie down and kind of place it underneath the fishtail braid so then it all looks nice and seamless This next look is basically my go-to look if I'm having a bad hair day or even if I don't know what to do with my hair or if I can't be bothered doing anything with my hair. It gets your hair out of your face but it still looks pretty cute as well. So as you guys can tell my hair is quite faded. <laughs> basically what you want to do is tip your head upside down and just gather it all up into a high bun at the top of your head. Just loop the ponytail over. For the bandana all I'm doing is wrapping the bandana around my head tying it in a double knot and loosely placing the ends, tucking them in underneath the bandana. And then with any excess bits, just squash them down and place a bobby pin in them. For this last look, it is so simple. Basically, grab the front section and the crown section of your hair, make sure it's nice and messy, and place it in a bun. When you have that bun on top of your head, all I'm gonna do is just kind of scrunch it down a little bit, place in some bobby pins just to hide the hair tie. You can also remove some pieces around your face for a softer effect. Then, to give it a little bit of a bohemian twist, I'm just going to do some small plaits in the side of my hair. You don't need a hair tie if you do them quite small they'll just kind of stay there throughout the day and there you are you're finished all right guys thank you so so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found some useful hairstyles in this tutorial comment down below and let me guys know what your favorite hair look was if you guys have tried any similar looks before and which ones you definitely want to try out thank you guys for watching I love you so much and I will be seeing you guys in my next video bye